guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I have been tagged by Christy Partridge to do the 10 minute art challenge. And the rules of this challenge is that I um, can have the initial outline drawn, but I have to have a finished art piece within 10 minutes. So I have a timer over here. I have all my art supplies ready. I have the outline drawn and I have a bit of um, a masking tape over the top of the drawing because I want to get this done as quick as possible so I don't want the background to interfere with the main part of the drawing so I can just take the masking tape off and I can just um, get stuck into the drawing as quick as possible. So I am drawing this water droplet here on my phone. I have a 10 minute timer here and then we'll see how we go. So the two people that I am tagging next to try this art challenge as well is Fidel at Art at Fidel and I'll put a link to his channel somewhere over here and Ellen Brenneman. Ellen is a great friend of mine and her artwork is insane and so is um, Fidel so I would encourage you to check out both of their channels and then um, yeah so I am very nervous because I know that doing realistic drawings takes a lot of time so this is going to be very exciting to see if I can actually do this so let's get going mm. <laughs> okay so I am pressing start on the timer I hope you can see the timer. Okay, let's start with this. So I'm using my pan pastels. And I want to get that nice background coloring. So I know that I cannot spend too much time on the background. So I need to get this done as quick as possible. And next color. Okay, I need a brighter green. Ah. Okay, I'm already spending too much time on the background. I need to move on. It's so hard when you want things to look so perfect. You don't want to move on until you're completely sure about it. Okay, that's going to have to do. So now I am removing the masking tape. So that I can quickly get into this part of the drawing. So now I'm just going to do this highlighted area. Oh my gosh, I can't believe we're already six minutes in.
I'm using Prisma colors for these. I mean, four minutes in. I said six minutes in, but there's six minutes remaining. This is stressful. <laughs> this is actually such a good lesson to show people that art cannot be rushed. <laughs> Taking your time is not a bad thing at all. Okay, okay. Let's start getting these shadows in. not even going to worry about perfection. I just want to get the basic sort of outlines in there. Give you an idea of what needs to be there. Three minutes! Okay, I'm using solvent to blend. Quickly get this color nice and smooth.
54 seconds. Right, let's use some of this. Oh no, it's dry. There's touch up texture. Mm. And some highlights. Ah. Oh my gosh. That is what I've managed to complete in 10 minutes. <laughs> I, you can still sort of see what I try to do within the 10 minute time period. So I, I don't know if I would call this a pass or a fail. Like I could totally leave it like that and it still looks like a droplet on a leaf. And I could say that it's a pass. Although, me personally, I wouldn't be satisfied with this as being a finished product. So this is what it looks like after the 10 minute challenge. And now I think I'm going to finish it completely until I am satisfied with the whole look of the droplet on the leaf. And then um, I guess you guys can comment below on whether you think it was successful or not. Okay. <laughs> so let's carry on with some detailing. Oh my gosh, the difference in just being under a time pressure and having a relaxed time with it without having any sort of rush. Just the, the feeling, the difference in, in, in how it feels is amazing. Like you, you I, I don't like feeling that under pressure. It feels... <laughs> It is stressful, it, it gets your heart pumping and your brain going and you're like, can I accomplish this? Can't I accomplish this? Um, why put yourself under those sort of pressures? Like, I don't know. Actually, there's a lot of people that work very well under pressure actually. So it's, it's just something I would prefer to not have to deal with if I could help it. But um, it is pretty fun to see what you can do when you are under pressure. And you know what, I'm not disappointed at all. I'm quite happy with with what I was able to do <laughs> in that period of time. I think just the fact that you could see what I was drawing um, by the time the 10 minutes was up and that it looked fairly close to the reference photo is, is enough, maybe, maybe. It also goes to show that observing takes time too. Sometimes you just need to look at your reference for a while before you actually physically put something on your drawing paper. It's just having to rush and just all of a sudden just do it without really having the time to focus on the details is um, going to affect the end result really. So it is pretty cool what you can learn <laughs> when you get put under pressure.
I'm putting green everywhere. Okay, now I'm going to just blend a little bit more. So for these little cute little highlights, white highlights, I am using the brush and pencil touch up texture with mixed with a titanium white. That's just a nice quick and easy way to add in any highlights.
Okay. <laughs> I think I am quite satisfied with that. Um, I actually I love, love, love this pan pastel green. I'm going to add more. And that's it. And then I'll just sign my name. Now the exciting part comes where we get to take off all the masking tape and see what the real outcome is. <laughs> Thank you Christy for taking me in this challenge. It has taught me a few things about patience and what people can really be capable of in a short amount of time what pressure feels like and how people can really cope under pressure. So this challenge is, it teaches you just more, a lot more than just um, smacking something on a piece of paper. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this challenge and I'm looking forward to Ellen and Fidel trying these challenges for themselves. Ooh, and one more person that I would like to tag to do this challenge is Breelan. You know who you are. So I'll put a link to his channel as well and I would love to see him have a go at this. And um, yeah, so that is it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>